Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video and let's go into outer space in Starborn Frontiers. Starborn Frontiers is a free to play tactical auto battler with hundreds of unique ships. They recently launched on Steam which you can check out in the link in the description. As I said, it's free to play. They have a mobile version as well, so it's a good time to go and check out the game because it's a lot of fun, especially if you're fans of auto battler, RPGs, things like strategy, tactical things, and especially if you like space, starships, and other stuff like that. Because you can form a fleet, customize it with a variety of equipment, and use strategy to create the perfect battlefield formation. So yes, this could be the game that you put on the PC whilst you're doing something else, or have as mobile while you're traveling. You can have both it's up to you. So I've already logged five hours of play. This, by the way, is a sponsored video. I will make clear of that, but I decided to play a good chunk of time. You can see as well, like my playtime is, is there, like I'm up to, uh, at the point of recording this video, I've done two hours already and also done a further three hours as well in grinding through uh, the lower stages of the game. You make good progress going through things like campaign, and I would stress that when you're coming into the game, go through the campaign on normal difficulty. I'm just starting my hard grind through, and we're going to talk about some things I like about the game, some other mechanics and features, which should have kind of tab points in the video where you can click to. So one of the first things I noticed about the game when I started playing is that there's a decent guide for new players to take you from the scenario of just starting up the game right the way through to level 10. They're giving you advice, pinpoints of uh, equipping things, improving your ship, ranking up, even going as far as to how you get new ships. I even had a quick query about something and the developers answered and resolved it within 10 minutes. That is brilliant. So let's get into part two, talk about some mechanics, talk about how, like, how the game functions, things you should look out for, things that have been really helpful in kind of propelling yourself along, and then we're going to talk about some things that I personally like about the game. So right off the bat, there is like heroes, like champions, or ships in this particular regard. One of my favorite ones is Valiant, based on just, I like attacking ships, and I'm kind of doing something different that I don't do in games. I'm very much like healer and support strong or the strongest and the kind of attack is kind of lower down priority i'm shifting up because i want to do damage and what i've been doing is damage with having the likes of valiant being that kind of aggressive base character of course they've all got skills and patterns of of play of how they fight i certainly like having valiant because she's kind of like a aoe type character I mean, the art style is pretty cool as well, and kind of takes me back to that kind of like cyborgy aliens and space that I'm kind of accustomed to with the likes of uh, you know Star Trek franchise and Star Trek Next Generation. But anyway, to the point of the game, look, you've got these really cool characters, ships, if you will, that have various different types of abilities, pairings, skills, equipment, uh, rank, and other things that mean to make them stronger they will take you further and what i've been doing is creating a lead based character in shape and form of valiant to kind of take me through some of that early normal base content uh, and of course equipping some of the best things we'll talk about acquiring the equipment later on but you can grab loads of different equipment pair them up and of course they've got uh, sets which are going to add some benefits so you can see here like attack you get two of the attack set and that means that two per set equals plus 15 percent attack which is going to be very important if you have an attacker you kind of like, well, I'll put defensive based things on uh, different types of roles and the types they are because you don't want to put attacking sets on a healing support ship, do you? Anyway, you can improve skills and go and grab materials from various places, which we'll talk about in a minute. And of course, really close to getting, I want to get a, um, a five star rank for my uh, Valiant, but that's something. It's a work in progress. And you can do refits. And of course, there's other things like implants, uh, which, you know, the further you go and you grab some of these items, you're able to take further. That's how you get your ships stronger. For those interested of in how you get new ships, you go to your beacon section for recruitment and you recruit a new, a new person. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be anything, really. Uh, we've got ourselves, an, I think we've got like, uh, I think I've got a Magnolia, I think. Uh, need to hopefully get legendary. That would be good. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Is that just an epic? I've just pulled an epic. 
there we go. This is probably going to be another one that I, a new one that I focus on, Defiant. Uh, hopefully, Defiant is Defiant in. Uh, in kind of holding back enemies. So this is my brand new defender, which is Defiant. I'm excited about this, of what this character can do. These are the abilities right here. We're just gonna have a quick look at them. So first of all, we've got Fission mis Missile Barrage. I can't say that. 95% damage and applies Provoke, and Provoke forces the target to attack uh, the unit that applied this debuff, uh, taking the effect uh, without hacking and not affecting enemies with an uh, affinity advantage. Nice. So yes, it offers a, a kind of a, a tank-based uh, scenario. This one right here uh, deals 155% damage and inflicts stasis, which is prevents activation or active, uh, active and uh, passive skills and stops the charging of charged skills. This effect is removed upon receiving direct damage. Fantastic. It is still very much tanky-like, isn't it? And when the unit applies stasis, it gains a shield equal to 30%. So we might want to hopefully at some stage get this as part of a refit, which I think it's like getting duplicates of the same character. So I need to get some new equipment for that particular character. How I go and farm new equipment is by going to bounties. Of the bounties, we just pointed out this out a moment ago. If you go to certain bounties, they will have certain types of equipment. You can see here, like they've got equipment set defense, fortitude, reflect. Now, because it's Defender, I might want to build out the character with this particular equipment set here. There's other places you can go to different get different types of other equipment. And there's also some cool sets within Abyss. And for the first time in a little while, I'm actually going to take out my Redeemer. I had this here, the Redeemer, uh, but I just... I'm just feeling it like we should be putting in Defiance. So the Redeemer goes out and Defiant will be going in to help out to see how well uh, the character does. I'm hoping for lots of defensive options and of course being a different type of uh, different type. The character being a chemical, uh, it does mean that this will be a better option to have a bit more variation right here. It does look quite good. They're keeping themselves alive pretty well. And I think I've just improved a lot of my uh, units a bit more. I also think that Define is going to be just elevating my, uh, my game a little bit more with the fleet. And now I'm presented with an option. As I'm exploring in Abyss, I can also choose what I want. So I can choose my reward. Love that. I could choose to select the following, which I am going to. I need equipment set similar to this. You know, we've got the hacking improvements crit rate, the uh, the abyssal assault, which is the plus fifteen percent attack and crit power, and this here, which is again is attack is hacking and crit rate. Now I do need this to improve an attack based orientated build, where I think I've already picked up one of these before, so I need to choose that one. Come on, fleet, do me proud. This is going a lot better than I've had recently. Define is giving me that defensive structure that I really lacked recently. Now, I'm setting myself a little challenge. I am going now to farm more defense-based gear. And adding in Defiant, well, the first level I got past quite smoothly and quite well, which I was very happy about. It will be the next step as to whether or not it can help me get me further up to get more rewards like these particular bits of equipment there look at that that is an epic piece right there and there's a rare piece all of this will be really helpful for defiant and even though formations can be helpful i'm setting up like this having both of my defensive options right there in the front kind of taking the barrage as it were they're doing relatively well i didn't think that i'd be able to get to level three let alone do what I'm doing right now in level 4. One of the defenders is about to be knocked out. It looks like that will be Defiant. But Defiant is being Defiant and getting me through this. Which let's see what we're able to pick up. Still good stuff. It's not an epic but I'll still take it because it will benefit my Defiant. So for this video I want to go back in time. I want to go back in time because I want to get all of the 3 victories and 3 stars. Because I just feel like with this new character, this Defiant, I can achieve more. So let's do that. On the top left hand corner, the game will tell you how many rounds within how many rounds and also no deaths that you will get the all three stars. As I said, I want to have Defiant as being a Defiant Defender that is keeping alive, but also I can find myself getting all three stars, which is not exactly easy but not exactly hard at the same time hopefully now because i only have two rounds left i have one round left ah yes
did it. So that has been a brief mechanics overview of the game. There's a lot more to it and there's a lot more modes to check out. Like one of those being arena, this is the PvP elements of uh, of the game. Uh, I'm I've not trained very well on this, so uh, I'm kind of like a newbie when it comes to it. But uh, I'm I'm getting there. I'm understanding some stuff as I go, and I'm learning. You can see the team is battling here uh, in a scenario and hoping to try and win. Actually, not doing too bad. But as I said, it, you just need a bit of luck. That defiant is massively helping out to keep my team alive. You can see they've already stripped through the defense right there. If I just remove myself, you can see they're performing incredibly and we're going to win, which is a rare one for me. That is actually my first PvP win. So what are the things that I like about the game or I could recommend uh, from what I have played? So over the course of the game, the Commander's Path has been an absolute amazing asset for any new player. Achievements allow players to pick up extra loot, items, resources, and the ability to rank up, and also get beacons for new ships coming into your fleet. Anytime you rank up one of your ships, you're gonna get extra items to claim, which again help to reinvest into your rank ups, which I thought was an excellent little extra. So it doesn't feel like you're losing out when you're absorbing one of your ships into another to put them up an extra star. It's been good to reach stumbling blocks because then what I can do is just retune what I'm doing and go, right, well, this worked here, this didn't work there. And then figure out a way to improve equipment, skills, and even maybe change out some of the ships that I'm using. This is weird for me to take out Redeemer to put in Defiant, but Defiant was an amazing lucky pull that has now changed and elevated uh, my fleet where I can actually survive things that I didn't normally survive uh, before. I like the fights because they're quick and pacey and they're pretty much done. Either you're quick to lose or quick to win or it's a kind of like not extensive fight. You're not fighting for three, four, five, upwards of ten minutes. A lot of these fights are handled within a one minute to at least two minute time frame. You can see that was over in 16 seconds. So it's a quick grind, which is great. This is all about saving the player base time. It's quality of life. Now is a great time to get involved with that Steam link, which you can check out in the link in the description. Play on PC. Yes, you can play on mobile, so go and check it out on mobile as well. If if you like as well the space auto battlers then this is going to be a game that you're just going to love and have on the background whilst you're doing other things it can auto battle away you can then change and prioritize your units and also improve them and make sure you take on some of the best brutal and hard content in the game Anyway, I'm going to be farming in Abyss because I want to pick up some more loot and also look to improve my Defiant which is just the greatest pull that I picked up I got it for free. You know, that just randomly popped up. And it can happen to you. And you can find yourself absolutely destroying other fleets. Check out the link in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video. And thanks to Starborn Frontiers for sponsoring this video.